a shalom akim. First off, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Harakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and teachers of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. My name is Brother Yahweh Shai Zion, just coming through with this real quick video to edify the Akim um, who believe in the Heavenly Father in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. All right, the only and Slaki in the uh, Most High's name is Yahawa. Okay, so let's get this. It says Earl Swavy, uh Los Angeles rapper, dies at 26. Now I'm gonna get to why this happened because a lot of these people, Akim, are partaking in the use of drugs and promoting the use of drugs as well as adultery in their so-called rap music. It's a cultural thing, and that's why the Heavenly Father is putting a lot of these people to death. Back to 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 back. Um, ever since the most notable one um, from the past uh, would be, you know, were really the most high profile people, Biggie Smalls and Tupac being shot to death. And then multiple other rappers being shot to death. The latest one was Young Dolph. And um, people overdosing on drugs and just, you know, this, you see what it is, man. Okay, so he died at 26. Los Angeles rapper Earl Swavy has died. His representative confirmed to Pitchfork. His cause of death is currently unknown. He was 26. Swavy grew up in South, South Los Angeles. He was raised by a single mother after his dad died when he was a baby. His brother started rapping when Swavy was young. And so did his uh, cousin, J-Rock, inspired by uh, well-known artists, or excuse me, uh, as well as uh, his family and well, as well as artists, rather, like T.I., Rick Ross, and 50 Cent. And that's why judgment will come upon those people listed as well, because they're the ones that are inspiring people to do this. And it's leading them to glorifying adultery, which is punishable by death, and also doing drugs at high level, which is also punishable by death. Because uh, the scriptures say, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. And a witch would be a sorcerer, okay? And or drug user who is using pharmacia, which is uh, drugs, pharmaceuticals, or abusing them uh, to get high. And that's not what the Lord uh, ordains, okay? So, check this out, Akim. I want to go down here to this here. He collaborated with some guy, ASAP Yams, which is a really stupid name, man, to be honest. I mean, this is real bad. But anyway, scrolling in the middle of the article, it says, Swavy told Grunge Cake in 2015, he would send me Christmas gifts and always look out for my mom and ask if she needed anything. I could always call him anytime he would also answer or always answer no matter what I definitely gained some wisdom from him quote Yams collaborated with Swavy and G Perico on the song London Drugs months before his death now some of you people may not understand that these are judgments played out because of the fact that you people out there who condone this type of behavior either just don't know no better, you grew up in this environment, were never spoken to by a man of the Lord who told you, look, that life only leads to death and destruction, okay? Like it says in the scriptures in the book of James, but you won't listen. So ultimately, you know, these people, um, they're just led astray 100% and they just end up dying, you know, Look! Look at their foolish music. Riaddle, really gang ganging. Old dirty Earl, PM thoughts, making moves. The dirtiest. No bap. Smoke screens. Fugazi. Get lit. See, a lot of this shit is about just doing drugs, man. The Lord's not dealing with that, and that's that's why he, you know that's why he died. Um, uh, more than likely, God. Now back to the same scripture that I spoke on the last video that has to come out again. James 1 and 13. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of the heavenly father. 
For the heavenly Father cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it bringeth, slack it, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Okay? It says, 16, do not err, which means to error, my beloved brethren. And this is talking to the saints. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. That's right. So we can understand that we have to rely on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai for our salvation, for our uh, daily meditation and prayer, and for our power source is the Heavenly Father, and keeping His commandments is what keeps us in the light and in the truth. And in deep, solemn prayer, we don't look to other outside sources like drugs and pharmacia and things of this nature, because that's not going to be edifying. That's not going to build us up, but rather tear us down, because that sin, like it says here um, in verse 15, it says, then when lust hath conceived, it is, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, brothers, is the transgression of the law. Okay? So if you transgress the law, it says, in sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Okay? And then we can just go to, um, there's a lot on this. Okay? 1 Samuel 15 and 23, for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft, and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry. So there's a lot of sins that are linked together. If you won't listen and you're being stubborn, it's as sin upon sin because you just refuse to hearken and idolatry because you're not letting the Lord Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai govern your life. You're letting something else and, and you even can make your own thoughts like an idol, man. A lot of people with their pride, that's why pride cometh before a fall and also that destruction. You know, because men pump themselves up as gods sometimes. And they think that nobody can take them out, not even the Heavenly Father. And that's idolatry. Because you're basically creating yourself as a as an idol. That, that nothing can stop you, which was ridiculous because you are the effect. The cause was Yahweh. Why Yahweh shy for your existence? Okay? All these things are evil, and it's really the um, works of the flesh. All right, as it says here, Galatians 5 and verse number 19, it says, Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, okay, which could be spiritual fornication, okay? When you're, you're going over to other gods, worshiping other things up as a god or different philosophies like Kemet, uh, Egyptian culture, the Book of the Dead, um, Muslim religion, or, or even Christianity, because that's error. They don't believe in the New Old Testament application of the law uh, minus the sacrificial laws. They don't believe in that. They don't believe in the real true gospel according to the scriptures, nor they do, do they understand. Okay? And people also worship Buddhism and different other philosophies. That's spiritual fornication. So it says uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, which is false teachings, okay, like that guy um, recently who just died, um, whack the news, okay, which I, I hate mentioning the guy now at this point, honestly, um, but it is what it is, just saying it for reference, verse 21, envyings, murderers, or murderers, drunkenness, revelings, which is staying out all night, partying all night, because you're supposed to get sleep. You're a, if you stay out all night without sleeping, that's abusing your body, man. Okay, now in certain circumstances, you don't have a choice. That's obviously different. There's levels to this. And you shouldn't be out all night like that because your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, which temple ye are, and you're not supposed to be abusing your body with anything. And you're supposed to be a good steward of your body. Okay? He that is faithful over few, I will make him ruler over much. 
And you're supposed to make sure that you take care of your body, drinking the proper amounts of water, um, eating the proper amounts of foods, not having too much meats. The scripture says, talk, talking about that as well. Now, OD it on meat. You know, eat what is sufficient for you and not um, being gluttonous. So it says here, um, and such like, of which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. You understand? So you won't make it. That's why you have to listen to the counsel, okay, that Akim has told you from the elders on down. And this is spoken about um, right here. Deuteronomy 32 and verse number seven. It says, remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father and he will show thee thy elders and they will tell thee. Okay, so this is what the Lord is, is established, that there's supposed to be order in the house of Israel, man. Okay, and that it comes from the elders, of the teachers and bishops and heads, okay, are supposed to teach down and and preach the scriptures and be an example. Psalm 44 and 1, it says, to the chief musician for the sons of Korah, Mashil, it says, we have heard with our ears, O God, which is Yahweh, or, or power rather, it says, our fathers have told us what work thou didst in their days, in the times of old. Now, right, in Psalm 77 and 5, I have considered the days of old, the years of ancient times. That's a cut. That's why we go into the Old Testament, because it's part of the doctrine. Yahweh Shai spoke in Luke, the 24th chapter, in the 44th verse, about everything that was written in the Psalms, the books of Moses, and the prophets concerning him. It was concerning him. So it's very important to understand the principles of the Old Testament, which forbid doing witchcraft and adultery and things of this nature, which... These people, these so-called rappers of today, that's why they're dying in droves in different numbers, because they speak on behalf of rebellion, and that's a sin of witchcraft, and it's rebellion, it's, it's as a sin of witchcraft, and that rebellion is against the Heavenly Father and His laws, statutes, and commandments. You see, the scriptures talk about keeping the commands and living, but everyone wants to, in this society, who is a part of the two-thirds of the nation of Israel who are going to be destroyed, pursuant to Zechariah 13 and 8. They want to live according to how they feel and what they think is right rather than what is written, okay? Because the scriptures talk about everything must be done decently and in order. If you don't produce order in your life, there's going to be chaos and confusion and nobody likes that, okay? But people seem to be stuck in it and the reason being is they're blinded by angels of the Lord. Not everybody can teach the scriptures. Not everybody can receive the scriptures. And we acknowledge that. And that's why we give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Thawada Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh for this beautiful knowledge and this heavenly gift that you have given us for comfort and stability in unstable times. All right? The scriptures say to my servants shall eat. And the Lord delights in the prosperity of his servants. And we are his servants to let you so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans know you're the Israelites and you have to repent. All right? For the kingdom of Yahweh is at hand. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right? So again, if this is your first time watching the channel, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand, as they say. All right? Or the kingdom of heaven, rather, is at hand. And with that, I'm going to bid you guys Shalom. And until next time, my name is Brother Howard Shazayan Shalom.